Hey guys, Brian here with Brian Imagery, and I was just recently watching The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, and I was watching this particular scene right here, and I was just thinking about, why not recreate the scene in a diorama? So I was able to get the miniatures printed from Etsy. I'll link the link below with uh, where you can get the miniatures. Uh, unfortunately, um, when I entered, I unpackaged some of the miniatures. Some of them are broken, so I had to super glue them back together. But as you can see here, I started off by making the base with some evil foam, gluing it together, and trying to make it like a little hill base. Sorry, it takes a lot of glue to put that stuff together. So I was thinking of making like an up top hill with some edges on the side. Um, I got this tutorial on YouTube where you can get some either foil or some paper right, and then put it together to make some edges to create like a landscape on the sides. Um, lately I've been using a pop mod podge with a mixture of plaster but that's kind of been messy and tiring so I started getting to try to be testing out these plaster sheets been very helpful from the last two other dioramas I've made. I'll put the link below on the other two dioramas. Uh, it took me like at least about seven plaster sheets to create the land. It is kind of messy, but I don't know. Mixing Mod Podge and plaster isn't more messy than just using plaster sheets, but I don't know. I'll debate between both and see where I go from there for my next one. So you can see I just place me put the plaster sheet in a bowl of water and then place it on top of the base to create the little hill on top with the edges. I thought it came out pretty well. I thought I should have added at least two extra more layers of it just to make sure I cover all the sides without leaving any gaps. Just to be sure. If you have any other recommendations of what else I should try other than Mod Podge, Plaster, or Plaster Sheets, um, let me know in the bottom of the comments below. After repairing some of the miniatures I got with some glue gun, I placed it right here to get primed and dry up for repair for painting. After the primer was done on the landscape that I used for from Game Master Wilderness Woodland color for the base. And after the prime draws dry from for the miniatures, I prepared some dry brushing. As you can see here, I started with some light gray dry brushing, and then use some white dry brushing for all the miniatures. I think I got this process soon called snap, slap chop. I just learned about it. It's my first. I have just started painting and started doing dioramas, so I've never painted miniatures before until recently, since my first diorama. But it's been a very helpful tutorial on how to get into painting and hopefully learn more and get better at it. As you can see, can see I started off with Gandalf, started off with the fellowship, dry brushing and all. I just only recorded me painting Gandalf first and then I painted everyone else in the fellowship off camera. I just have to be careful because these are 3D printed resins, so sometimes while you're dry brushing or painting, they sometimes do break. After painting all the miniatures, I started beginning the landscape of the base. I put some um, PVC glue, spread it out a little bit before I start spreading out the grass. First, I'm putting off some outcropping paint pre-painted rocks that I got from Hobby Lobby. After that, I'm placing...
characters in the camera or the scene. After placing all the fellowship members all on, I also was able to get Bill the pony, which was very awesome to get in the order. But after that, painted the sides black and put the video. Thank you guys again for watching. If you want to know more or recommend on my next diorama, please leave the comments down below. I'll see you again next time.